everyone, in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to decoupage one of our MDF photo frames that we have. So we have two different styles, as you can see here, the Scott edged and then the nice plain one. Uh, so standard size photo frames, and you can do all sorts of beautiful things. You can paint them, add moldings, especially uh, on here, but we really are enjoying decoupaging them. So this is an example with um, our Ivy's Dream napkin and here's another one that we've done so beautiful way to personalize them great for valentine's day mother's day christmas birthdays um, lovely treats to grandparents especially so i'm going to show you everything that you need to do and how you can achieve this look yourself okay so what you need to decoupage your own frame is a frame so we have these they are mdf ready to be painted or you could get a second hand frame and what you want to do first um, like with all decoupage is paint the base white. So we use our chalk paint, do two coats so we get a lovely white base. Um, same with your second hand frames, start nice white base. Then we have our napkins which I will talk a bit about in a minute. Uh, we need a brush um, and so I'm going to use the angled one. You can also use a one inch brush, just something nice and small. And then we have lacquer. Today I'm going to use satin lacquer because I have it next to me, but matte, gloss, whichever you have. Um, they all look great. And then just a can opener so I can open it up. Okay, so when choosing your napkin for your frame, there's a couple of things to consider. Uh, firstly, the kind of color background. We either prefer them to have a white background or something really light or to be a full coverage um, pattern like this one here or this one here and then most importantly you want to have quite a slim design or something like this something that's all over but still relatively small so it doesn't get lost on the thinness of the frame or the size or width of your frame that you have um, so I'll just grab this but as you can see this is quite small so you can still see a lot of the detail if it was a really big image you would lose most of it and it would look a bit odd so that would be our biggest tip think about the scale of your napkin up against the width of your frame that you're using and this is the same whether you're doing um, a simple one like this um, or something with the curves as well. It's the same process. Okay, so I am going to do this anchor and steering wheel design pattern today as I think it will be perfect on this and, you know, be something a bit fun for a beach house or, you know, um, a family that's big into sailing. So, as I said, we've got the white base of our frame and then, like always, when you're decoupaging with napkins, you want to take the back layers off. So these napkins that we have are all three ply. So I just want to take the white layers off. So I will have two. Um, and of course it's gonna be a bit fiddly for me today. Um, but yeah, with napkins, you always just want to work with that top layer. And most napkins are either one, uh, sorry, a two or three ply. So here we go. I just want to take these two back ones off you can always tell because it will be really thin and translucent on the back so you'll be able to see your design my layer and what i want to do is to get a thin section and i am going to put that on so we always love using a torn edge so that it's not too uh harsh i suppose um when you're decoupaging, light, your eyes are always drawn to a straight line, so we find that the best. Now I am going to just tear the whole way up. This napkin actually goes in two different directions, so I will use it in sections so that it's all going the way that I want it to look. And as I said, I've checked to make sure that I know which way it's going to be standing. So I've got my little back bit here so i know that's the way i want it to go and what i want to do is make sure that i have it facing the right way 
and I'm going to place this line, actually I'm going to do it on this side here, so I can get the straight one to just curve over and then have that line going down. So I'm going to have that and then I've got another bit here that I can then add on. So, open up my tin of lacquer, I've got the big ones because we use it a lot. And what I want to do is just do just a really thin light coat of my lacquer so that when I put my napkin down it grabs straight away. And I'm going to pop that on, making sure to get it nice and centered. There we go. And it's a little bit more lacquer, so I've got it nice and centered. A little bit more lacquer, I'm just going to lightly brush over the edge, and I'm just going to curve the excess down the side. And that's glued on nicely and then I can just take it down this edge too. And then that's all on. And then I can get another little bit of my anchors making sure again that I have got the right part of the pattern. And I'm just going to stick that down. On like so and I'm just going to curve this one just around the edge and there you've got one really cute side done and I'm going to keep working so I want all my anchors to go down so I'm going to then work across and down the other side so I will do that So you can see how fun and fast that was. I have pattern matched up the top here and then I've just got it going down here as well. So all my anchors are in the same direction. I'm going to let this dry and then I will sand off these little bits in here, my little overhangs, and I will do a top coat of lacquer so it's all well sealed and then we're done and I will show you when it's all finished. This has now been finished. It has its top coat of lacquer on, it's been sanded and it's all ready to go. So a beautiful frame that's fully personalized. Uh, these are a few others that Tracy and I did. So we've got the gorgeous strawberries, we've got some little bees and then we've got a classic small rose print as well. So as you can see, the smaller prints work really well as you get to see more of the print on the frame. Uh, so again, a couple of things in summary, you want to paint the base of your frame, whether it's MDF or secondhand white, so that you get a nice, clean uh, decoupage finish. You want to use just the top layer of your napkin and tear it and place your pieces on um, as you go, making sure to get the right direction as you're going. Uh, seal it and glue it where, as I said, we use our lacquers, satin, gloss, matte, they all look great. And then once it's dry, sand it and do a top coat to clean your brushes. We like using olive soap because it's really gentle and breaks down the lacquer. And yeah, that's it. Really simple, really fun, a great way to have personalized frames for your home. They make wonderful gifts, as I said, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, Easter birthdays, any kind of celebration. They're just a beautiful thing to have and you can pop a lovely photo in. If you have any questions, please get in touch and we hope this has inspired you.